like the next one. All right, we're gonna look at what functional managers and people lead say, all right? Functional managers. Functional managers are people that the developers kind of report to for the most, for the most part. And people lead are people who have reports that report to them. I know, that's tautology. But yes, people leads are people who have reports. All right, they say that everyone reports to them. That's one of the things they say, everyone reports to me, everyone. So I don't care. I don't care what you're saying. Everyone reports to me. Every, everybody reports to me, um, which is not true. Not all the time. Um, so uh, because everyone reports to them, they feel they can actually influence the sprint. They feel they can actually influence the capacity. Um, they're supposed to be in charge of their resources in the team. And I do not like calling developers resources, but they're supposed to be in charge of the people that actually do the work. They're actually not supposed to be um, a blocker themselves, excuse me. They're actually not supposed to be a blocker themselves to the team, all right? Another thing they like to say is that I, I need to see all the team's metrics, including the retrospective summaries. Now, don't get me wrong. The people leads and the functional managers, they could see some of the metrics in all my engagements uh, across my, my years of service as a Scrum Master uh, and as an Agile coach. I've seen functional managers that, I've seen metrics that should be given to the functional managers. I've seen metrics um, that should be given to the people leads, but not all the metrics. There's a clear line of difference. As a Scrum Master, uh, someone on the team, you should be able to create the disconnect. You should be able to create the difference between the kind of metrics that is open to people outside the team versus the kind of metrics that is open to people in the team. Retrospective summaries, for example, it's an internal team's metrics. You're not supposed to share the retrospective with anyone that is outside the team. Anyone, I'm saying it, anyone. You're not supposed to share. There's some metrics that stays with the team and some other metrics that you can share. I don't want to know whether it's the people lead, whether it's the functional manager. You cannot share, for example, the one I have on my slide. There's some other metrics. Some of them are in contention. I'm not going to put it. I didn't put them on my slide because I didn't want to create a debate here. But one of those that is almost as clear like the day and the night is the retrospective summaries. You cannot share the retrospective summary with anyone who is not a core team member on the team. Another anomaly that we see is that, oh, they want to attend all the team's meetings, the daily stand-up, the, the retrospective, the planning, the replenishment meeting in Kanban, the, all the meetings they have, the engineering meeting, the stabilization meeting in, in XP. They want to attend all the meetings. You cannot, sir. You cannot, ma. You cannot attend. These are some of the anomalies. Um, we want to protect the team. You want to shield the team. You want to ensure the team has uh, it's intact to deliver value. All right, so these are some of the anomalies that we get from the functional managers and the people lead.